competed in Ag Mech, the competition at Clemson, and most of the time that's a more male dominated type of thing. And to see Natalie go in there and beat out almost every other guy there, it really shows you how much she puts forth effort into it. Belt and Honeypath High School is unique in the fact that we had the first manufacturing available classes in high school. Students in this program, they aren't so much pigeonholing into picking one path and doing it. They get exposed to the different areas, so they get to see where their interests might lie. And then they can pursue that either after school or once they enter the workforce. My dad started a business with fabrication and machining. And when I started getting into it with him, I was like, oh, I actually have the opportunity to do this at school. So why not take advantage of it and learn more while in school while I can, so that when I come out, if I decide that's the path I want to go down, I'll be ready for it. What's been the reaction of being one of the few gals in a class, predominantly boys? They are very supportive of me and like, if I need help with something, they're there to help and like, there to teach me and like, be patient with me with everything that I need help with. So they've, they've been a real asset. Oh yeah, definitely. There's other girls, but the fact that Natalie's taking it to this level is, is pretty unique, taking it to the national level. Anybody can do it, it's just about learning how to. It doesn't matter if you're a guy or a girl. They can do the same as all we can, and especially Natalie, she's, she's really smart and really talented, and she can weld the same as all of us, and cut the same as all of us, and do all the calculations the same as all of us. Natalie came to work with us when she was really young. She started on this little minor task, and now I've got her involved in running press brakes, lasers, punches. She fits right in. She's able to set these machines up and talk to the other guys and girls about what's going on with their equipment and how it's all translating into a productive day. I actually feel like I'm part of something more than just like the usual. It makes me feel like I have open doors to something bigger. So when Daddy started the business, I immediately started helping him and I was like, hey, I actually might be interested in this. The men and boys that I'm surrounded by a lot of the time are always willing to help me and like, if I can, can't pick something up, all I have to do is be like, hey, can you please come help me? As long as you learn how to do it, you can do anything. I really think uh, programming and like, the math side of it is something I'd be interested in. And then eventually, hopefully, working up to Daddy's position when I'm older and he's ready to hand it over. As we've grown as the business, we've been able to invest in the newer technology and the latest things. And with more options in the shop, I can learn more. And it allows me to do different things and grow in the whole field itself.